This is one of my purple bell pepper plants that I've had for two or three years now. And every other year I've had it, I've harvested a lot of green bell peppers off of it, and I've harvested quite a lot of purple bell peppers off of it. I've never gotten red ones before, um, which is interesting. They start out green, then they turn purple, and then if you leave them on the plant long enough and they don't get destroyed by wildlife and birds, they actually turn red. So you can see here's a small one. I mean, if it almost looks like there's two different plants in here, right? But there's not. Uh, this is one bell pepper plant. But you can see the uh, smaller fruits are bright purple. And then they go to this like intermediate stage where they're kind of a bronze color. And then they turn completely red. It's uh, really cool to see them all in the same plant. So the seeds generally aren't thought to be viable until the pepper is completely red and ripe. But I've saved seed off this plant before when they were at the purple stage. And I got some to germinate. So that's kind of interesting there. They obviously won't germinate when they're green. But um, yeah, you can see here's a small pepper that's green. Here's one that's bronze. Here's one that's purple. And then there's another one down here that's red. So that's kind of one of the... Uh, more interesting varieties of pepper I've grown before. I usually don't get red bell peppers simply because they take forever to turn red and that gives wildlife and birds a lot of time as well as diseases and insects a lot of time to get them. Um, if you ever wondered why when you go to the store you can buy a green bell pepper for 60 cents but a red bell pepper is $1.50, well, a lot of that is just a function of time, how long the pepper has to stay on the plant. You know, if you harvest it when it's green your yields are going to be a lot better. Whereas if you wait until they turn red, you're going to lose a lot of them to all kinds of things. Mainly disease where I'm at because it's so wet. But also birds come in and get them. It seems like the birds don't uh, like the purple varieties as much as they do the other ones. Maybe they're a little more bitter or something. Um, anyway. So yeah. Um, I'm definitely saving seed off this. I'm not sure how much longer I can keep this pepper alive. Like I said, it's probably three years old now. It comes in the house every January, but um, these are some pimiento peppers next to them. All the bell peppers I have in the front yard, I've been harvesting green. The ones in the front yard are actually a variety called a uh, chocolate bell, or maybe it's just some burgundy bell, but they turn a really cool like burgundy color. It's not red, it's not orange, it's burgundy, but um, it seems like by the time they get to that point, they're usually mushy. So I tend to harvest all those green. But, uh, oh, I'm getting bit by fire ants. They must have been on this pepper I harvested. <clears throat> but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick little video. I mean, I was filming a garden tour, but I thought, you know, this is something that a new gardener might be really interested in, to see three different colors of peppers on one plant. You got green, you got purple, and then you got bright red all in the same plant. Just various stages of ripening. When I purchased these seeds years ago. The variety was just called Purple Bell. And there was no mention on the seed pack that they were eventually going to turn candy apple red, but that's when they're going to be the sweetest. You know, um, when I've harvested these green before, you know they they function just like any other green bell pepper. You can put them on pizza or you know fry them up with onions or whatever for fajitas. Standard green bell pepper. At the purple stage, they tend to be. I, I think they're fine, but a lot of people that I've given them to have said the purple ones are a little bit kind of astringent. Um, a stronger flavor than the green stage. Not particularly sweet yet though. Uh, the texture they've also said is a little bit tough. But once they get to the red stage, then they're just sweet and juicy. So yeah, green, purple, and red bell peppers all in the same plant. Just various stages of ripening. <laughs>